Hi guys, I'm Lauren and in this video I'm going to show you how to add Boto to video. Whether you want to show a screenshot of a conversation during a YouTube video or if you want to show off your holiday pics in an Instagram reel. I promise you this works for any social media platform. It's super fast, incredibly easy and it's free. So if all that sounds good to you, just click the first link in the description to get started. Now we're in feed, we're just going to click upload a file, choose a video that you want to use and give that a moment to upload. Now the video that I've selected, I've actually filmed this for YouTube but I now want to use it for a TikTok. So all I have to do is head to settings and under size here I'm just going to scroll through until I see TikTok's 9 to 16 aspect ratio. I'm going to select that, now I'm going to click on the video itself and click fill the canvas. Now if that's too zoomed in for you, just click fit the canvas and then drag your corners and sides out as much as possible but you're probably going to be left with some black bars under your video and above your video. We're going to colour these in, so head to settings and then under background here click that bucket now pick up your dropper tool and select a colour from your clip. This just keeps it in tone with your video. Now we need to upload our photo. So above the timeline, click add media and click upload a file. Now choose the photo that you want to upload and give that a moment here to load. Now if you want to add more than one photo, just repeat this process again. Now we need to edit our photo. Firstly play your video and find the moment at which you want your photo to pop up on screen and at that moment hit pause. Now you're going to drag your photo over to that point in the timeline and now you can move your photo anywhere on screen. You can increase or decrease the size it by pulling on the corners and sides. We can also turn on round corners here and the higher the number that you put in the more rounded they will become. Now if you want to remove those round corners just turn it off and if you click adjust tab here we can rotate the photo, we can invert it and even flip it upside down. And another cool thing we can do is add an iPhone template. So we're going to head to elements here in the left hand column and we're going to scroll down until you see mock-up devices. Click view all and now just choose any of the iPhones you see. Now we're going to drag that over the photo and adjust the size so it fits perfectly on top of that photo. Now one little final touch that we can use is a sound effect. So put your playhead at the start of the photo on the timeline and now in the left hand column click audio and click search and now in the search bar just type in pop. And now you can have a listen to the different sound effects here, choose your favourite and once you select it it'll appear below your video in the timeline. Now let's say I go back a couple of seconds here and if I hit play you'll see what happens. Perfect, your photo appears with the sound of a pop. Now you can just repeat the same process here if you've got any more photos further down your timeline. But I'm happy with mine so I'm just going to go ahead and render and export it. So just click export in the top right hand corner, choose your render settings and click export once more. Give it a moment to render here, once it's finished watch it all the way through once just to make sure you're happy. And now we're happy with that, all we're going to do is click download and download mp4. And that's it. That is how you add photo to video in minutes. I really hope you found this video helpful guys. If you did, go on and give us a like, subscribe for more editing content and leave me any comments or questions down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.